We all like to get away now and again, and what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. Welcome to our room at the Ibis. There is a lovely mirror for you to look at and a place for you to sit down while you get dressed in the morning. This room must be uh, joining the next room because there is a door here with a lock over here. Here is a nice double bed with a place to put your belongings on each side. Here is a charging area with the light switch. My side has the light switch, but then we don't have a charging area. So I think I'm going to have to charge my things elsewhere. We also have some extra pillows up here in this little closet area. There is two of them, in fact. Normally they are zipped together for some reason. I really like this quirky background. It's kind of like a cupboard with things on it, such as like a vase, a radio, a clock, pens and pencils and maybe um, brushes. I'm not sure what that is. Those might be books. I'm not sure what those weird objects are, but no, it's like a nice little artistic touch, I think. This is a nice area to organize yourself. Here are hangers. There is a iron with a hair dryer and underneath is a ironing board just in case things might have wrinkles along the way. There is a uh, plentiful information for you to browse such as breakfast time, when the bars open up until and restaurant service and the reception. We also have this coffee and tea making facility with use of the kettle. We have these instant coffees and a nice twinings tea with a helping of milk on the side with these cups for you to use. I was a bit concerned that we didn't have enough plugs, but there is this plug area right here and this is an extension cord of some sort and there's one socket here, one socket here, another socket here, and also two USB um, charging points. There is a weird echo, echo in this room that we've noticed and also the lighting seems very very dim and it seems kind of um, odd. I don't think I've ever stayed in a room that was this dark before. You can hear the outside traffic from the main room. Let me show you. There's also a window that actually opens because normally these windows are shut and you can't really open it. But I think it's a good thing that the window does open. In addition, there is no air conditioning because of the window access, which is what we gathered here today. Luckily, we don't need the air conditioning and the window will do. So this is a good thing all around. 
Now let's have a look inside the bathroom, shall we? So we have a standing shower. So the shower is being slanted towards from um, right to left. So the water will be coming down here and slanting slightly down to the left. Um, there is no shower door, which I find a little odd and hopefully it won't get wet, but I think that they provided something to stand on. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Um, there's also your rock your body hair, body and hand wash. So there's a pretty good amount in here. And it looks fairly easy to use and access, I believe. I love the lighting that we have here. There's this um, lighted screens and the uh, mirrors on the inside. The taps work and it seems okay. And you also have Rock Your Body hair body and hands wash. So that and that is made of the same substance, which is a good thing so that you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm running out of shampoo or, or I'm running out of hand wash. You could just use either one for the same function. <laughs> Some things should really be set in stone, such as subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. This outside noise really didn't disturb us. I think it might have helped Marcus in terms of it being the ambient noises. This light also gives more lighting to the room. Um, I think that there's another uh, light right near the mirrors, which is a good thing because I think I thought th this morning, okay, why is it so dark? And then these two came on and then I think it adds more light to the room. You can also move it around with this lever over here. So this is kind of nifty, I think. The bed was really comfortable because it also has one of these mattress toppers. I think it must be one of these new inventions to make sleeping a better experience at hotels. I think that the pillows were used to the best of their ability. I think one was a bit harder than the other one. I think this one was the softer one and it was quite bulky, but it did provide comfort to our heads at the end of the day. The shower was a little bit challenging. I had to readjust the head so that it kind of hits you going down rather than a bit on an angle. I think that that prevented the spillage in the floor to a certain degree, but not too much. Marcus and I did also visit the hotel bar in the evening and we did enjoy a local Welsh beer each, a local Welsh bitter each, one that I won't pronounce and it will appear under the screen right now. And I also enjoyed a whiskey to help me sleep last night.
overall, it was a nice and great stay at the Ibis. We have stayed at the Ibis before and I would definitely recommend staying here for any of you that haven't stayed in Ibis so far. And lastly, I would like to say thank you for watching our YouTube channel. It's Paula Marcus. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. We do really appreciate it. And until next time, we will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.